we could not have asked for a better day to go for a ride. It is a beautiful autumn day here. There isn't a cloud in the sky. It's a little bit nippy, but that's all right. We are on our way to Sasebo City in Nagasaki Prefecture. Uh, Sasebo is most well known for its uh, U.S. Navy base. And in the 1950s, uh, U.S. soldiers introduced the hamburger to the local Japanese community. And needless to say, the local Japanese people loved them. And they started making them themselves, making their own versions and using their own ingredients. And from there, the Sasebo burger was born. Now, there are a few things which make a burger an official Sasebo burger. And I'll get into that later. But I first learned about these burgers uh, while I was watching my favorite Japanese TV show called Why Did You Come to Japan? And a Japanese reporter goes around interviewing foreigners and asking them why they came to Japan. And there was this one Australian guy who flew to Nagasaki only to eat Sasebo burgers. And he was so passionate about them. And um, ever since I saw that episode, I've been wanting to try them. So that's what we're doing today. We are on our way to Sasebo City to go eat some burgers. We've got about another hour left on this ride, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Uh, roads like this are the reason why people consider Japan as a motorcycle paradise. All right, I had to stop for that view. That was gorgeous. I just pulled over to check my gear and I saw this wonderful sight. Sasebo, baby, 22 kilometers. If you enjoy content like this, Japan motorcycle tours and the Japanese culture, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Japan is very proud of its food, even if it's a different take on Western dishes like burgers. What's your favorite Japanese food? Let me know in the comments. And we've only got about 25 minutes until we get to Sasebo Burger Town. I hope they're open. It's pretty early still. It's only like 10, 15 in the morning. Okay, we have made it to Sasebo City, and the burger joint is a right around here somewhere. There she blows, right here. Wonder where I can park. Just park here. Okay, to make a sasebo burger, you need a bun without sesame seeds, an egg. Oh, hi. Well, here we go. So, as I was saying, to make a sasebo burger, you need a bun without sesame seeds, egg, tomato onion, lettuce, mayonnaise, ketchup, a beef patty, and a smoked piece of bacon. And mine has come. And that Australian guy that I was talking about earlier, this is him. Hmm. 
on the mantle of God. It's not a bad book. And these are my thoughts after I'm done eating it. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, it had a lot of ingredients, and the patty was really thin. Usually I prefer to have a more simple burger and a thick patty, but it was pretty good. Um, let's go try another one. Round two. And here's round two, pretty much like the last one. We got a patty, egg, bacon, cheese, uh, lettuce, tomato, mayo. It's probably got ketchup somewhere in there. I just can't see it. And a sesame seedless bun. Buns are toasted too. Wow. Mm. This one's pretty good, better than the last one. Nice and spicy, peppery patty. Toasted buns, it's good stuff. Well, that was pretty good, and I'm full. Thanks for joining me.